So, this is where you I'm been crying. <laughs> you know how I said I wanted a really intimate conversation well between Aerith and Cloud? <laughs> it's nice to see Cloud reach out to her curiosity. and help her. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be finishing Gungaga. I was up until like... 7 a.m. trying to complete all this stuff. I still have the proto relics and I still have the mini boss. But other than that, we should be able to breeze through Gungaga and then move forward with the story. If you guys like this video, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I'm really glad you're enjoying my rebirth playthrough. Okay, now we gotta go to the proto relic here. Let me heal first. It's a training facility. Wait, so does this cutscene depend on who's in your party? Because what happens if you don't have Yuffie and Aerith in your party? Yuffie and Aerith are always there. Oh, sh that's cool. That's so cute. The way he catches Yuffie is so cute. I can't. <laughs> they have such a good relationship, bro. It's so brother sister. Once you have retrieved your provisions, proceed to the next location. I really love Yuffie. I love her dynamic. I love her like her dynamic with the characters. They did a really great job with Yuffie. For example, Song really cares about Aerith, you know, to a degree. And so she's seen the good in people. But Yuffie calling them enablers doesn't mean that Yuffie's wrong. They are indeed enablers. And even like Reno, Rude, and Sung know that. You know, they kind of enable Shinra. In your previous mission, you repelled an insurgent attack and captured the enemy's leader. As a Turk in the field, you must be capable of assessing a situation and making sound judgments. Now then. Hello, Maureen. How are you? What should you do with the insurgent? Isn't it interrogate? I feel like kill him would give us the funniest dialogue. True. Enemies of Shinra should be put down. However, in this particular instance, that would be premature. Considering what we know of the situation, it seems unlikely that the insurgents' ultimate objective was the town's occupation. Which leaves us with some questions. What only our detainee can answer? What? Why? So I was right. Hostile forces have infiltrated Junon and disguised themselves as allies. You must take care to discern friend from foe. I just found you because I mutuals no with Jean Park on Twitter and he shared one of your videos. Oh, I love Jean. Thank you so much. That makes me happy. I'll have to thank Jean too. Oh, have a good stream, Ash. Shall we? Sure. Just watch who you're shooting, okay? <laughs> Their banter is so cute. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, or a <laughs> Look at her running. She's so cute. Oh, sh**. Thank you, Zero King. Thank you. Hey, I found it. Hey, what's this? Your final mission 
is to snuff out the rogue pair that betrayed our organization. What? Hello, hello. Hi, Sky. They're just like Omega. If you like tech and follow Rip. Here we go again. Not these frauds. Good thing, too. Don't want to be a couple of pushovers. Anything, what the fuck? One way to get to the light. See them, we're just fools to be used and abused. They're sucking the life out of us, just like they're doing to the planet. Open your eyes. The company forces us to do Let's get serious. What are we getting return? You jittery? That didn't work well now. Nothing personal. died while I had Titan.
you ask for it. It's so cute, bro. It's so cute. You have to use Prey more. I know, I know. Oh sh**, my arcane ward is gone. Who's there? 
<gasps> Sisney! Oh, is this where they find out? Oh, f this is where they find out. Certainly didn't it took the words right out of my mouth. What in the hell are you doing here? Shinra sent me to inspect the facilities. Wanted to make sure they didn't have any unauthorized visitors wandering around. Find out what? Find out she used to be a Turk. Records indicate the individual with that ID underwent formal training. Wait, are you a Turk? <laughs> That'll be enough probing. For my benefit, but mainly for yours. Oh god, she's fine as fuck. Okay. She's fine as Sorry. fuck. Bro. Anyway, I'm heading back to the village. Once you're done here, I suggest you make tracks. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. Hello. You good? This was a good way to end this proto relic quest. We've a hundred percented Gungaga. Let's go. See you never, Gungaga. I know. No more. No more exploring Gungaga. <gasps> At long last, the knave returns. Beneath the moonlight, in victory shall I revel. My Genji! Did it do? Did it do? Did it do? Did it do? Interloper! Chadley? <laughs> None other. After analyzing the phenomena associated with your sudden disappearance, I was able to devise a way in which to join you virtually. Virtually? Ah, no matter. Be gone, foul conjurer, or I shall make this place your grave. Oh my. This is simply fascinating. <laughs> I'm Chadley. You must tell me about yourself and about this place. You dare demand answers of me? Such impudence! A wanton display of disrespect! Lots of wealth! Die! <laughs> so, when are we gonna cook him? Alright, now we go to the story. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. Aww. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane. Follow the smoke. <laughs> Come, to, Come me. to me, airplane. airplane follow <laughs> the smoke. Oh, she's so cute, Aerith, my <laughs> beloved. <gasps> right on cue. Come to me, airplane. Follow the smoke. <laughs> Aerith just oh, loves man. life, man. She's just so funny. Oh, man. Where to, folks? Damn. Cosmo Candy. You talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? Oh, his voice is good! Um, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Why they make Sid so good looking? The fuck? <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to your pony up. Much obliged. 
Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Got to make sure my baby's balanced just so. <laughs> Earth and Tifa are so cute. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out and you're on your own. Oh. <laughs> consider myself a Sid girl, but here we are. You are truly a model soldier, my boy. If I Is that Roche? You wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely well. make you into a hero. The bromance was fun while it lasted. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no, that's like the end of Roche. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Why is it? Not in here. Open a window. Hey, see it. Yeah. You're not worried about flying around in the open like this. What if Shinra sees us? Shinra don't own the skies. Shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried. <laughs> oh, this Just is cool. Fire. This is cool. What the fuck? We have entered Three. chapter 10, my friends. Happy trails to you. What a, what a jarring difference. <laughs> am I, um, am way. I a Sid girl? <laughs> Why is Cosmo Cannon so, Cannon? Why is Cosmo Canyon so far? Girl, you've been here 10 minutes. That's 10 minutes too long. Behold, yes. A sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the base. I can hear it calling. That is pretty though, isn't it? <gasps> this is cute! Why did the music stop? <laughs> hey, guys! It's me! Come back! Nanaki? Oh my god! His voice! I told you that was his real voice! Why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on! Damn, we about to get a crazy ass cutscene, huh? Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. Oh my oh, god! god. I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. <laughs> it's funny because Aerith is the only one that's like used to hearing Nanaki like that. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. <laughs> hmm. huh. 
But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> oh shit! See how this place looks at night, man. I was born and raised here <laughs> in this canyon. <laughs> I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me until I was taken by Shima. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you. I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. Damn. I, mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig. Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? No, the right? That better not have been goodbye. Together. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath. That will bleed you slow. Many devotees have remember. Kadena, no, uh, no offense, but can you please shut the f up? Oh my god. She just referenced Sephiroth. No, she didn't. She's yapping, bro. She's yapping just to yap. Beyond the confines. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after Marmaki. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about I mean... A thing or two? I don't... Know. Zero you King, do you... About it. I mean, um... I'm gonna have to well, say Jin and Zhao Yu. I don't ship Cloud and Tifa. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. Is this the same? Is this the same voice actor? Yes. What a talented voice actor. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mamaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Oh shit! A warm welcome to you, friends of Nanaki. Friends of Nanaki. We have Professor Gas to thank for a full half of the research materials archived here. Holy shit, this place is awesome. Way to bring out the full depths of your beauty. God, I really want to see Cosmo Canyon at night. <laughs> you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Oh, damn. a larger telescope on the planet with it you can see to the edge of the galaxy there's no better view of the stars than through this scope <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning my apologies damn hmm. that again huh? Dirge mentioned. 
This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account, were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? He <laughs> straight up said, called her the Lulu. <laughs> you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Well, maybe he knows something we don't. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... Here it is. The trailer scene. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is only the beginning. The shooting star. Planetology. It's not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. This is it's a cool. To comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like Damn, the they all look so pretty it there. It returns whence it came. Great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely to be... <laughs> She's so pretty. Okay, well, what the fuck? So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up. Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery and fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a 
different form. Is that possible? A novel theory. Suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. Okay, well now he's being a little bit too mean to her. Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Aerith is such a good friend. Aerith is such a good friend. She's not gonna let Tifa go alone. Yeah, no, he's kind of being a bitch to Tifa. Why? Why are we doing this, huh? This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. True. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? <gasps> Pictures can't do it justice. One That's cute. That is so cute. Yeah, he did Aerith's thing. Poetry are more my thing. My old man, he. Oh, look at Aerith and Tifa sitting next to each other. Look how cute they are. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. I feel like we're... But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. I love how everyone's like, damn. And it needs that us. Zaza was not... 20 minutes ago, but this girl really Fight feeling it. <laughs> Defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Why do I feel like we're at an AA meeting? Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. Aw, Aerith is such a good friend to her. I'll see you at the festival. Damn, that was weird, wasn't it? The side eye be hitting. Yeah, dude, the side eye be hitting. She's like, I fell into the live stream because of you, asshole. <laughs> the River of Light ceremony will begin shortly. This night comes but once a year, bringing us closer to the planet. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. There's one woman's grace I'd really like to feel.
Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride. I, I feel like it'll burst. He just like but me for real. My story, he just like me for Stop. real. Wow, so many tourists. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself with filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? Just gotta laugh it off. It's that simple. Except it's not. At least, not for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm too serious for my own good. Put your faith in our great mother. She would never forsake us. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. So we're just telling everybody now. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. You can't say that Tifa doesn't love Aerith, same. though. You know, I'm you can tell time, by the way she looks at her. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. It's okay. My blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, oh, that was cute. <laughs> I think I'm okay. Happy even. I love them. <laughs> and all that pain feels worth it. If I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given.
I love them so much. <laughs> this is such a good scene. The song. There, it is time. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> Pretty savvy, huh? <laughs> she would I'm just a baka. <laughs> intimate conversation between Aerith and Cloud. That was a good one because she was vulnerable. <laughs> it's nice to see Cloud reach out to her and help her. <laughs> Wait, Claire's were low-key pissed? Why? This is such a good scene. It's less intimate than the OG. Oh, I see. I mean, this was really intimate for me, at least. I mean, the way I interpret this is very intimate. He's starting to like completely understand her you know and know when she needs him i will say like one complaint is like why is so much heavily reliant on like the options I'm like what happens when you say something like a bad option there what you just don't get that scene like that seems really f stupid i'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company girlfriend girlfriend <laughs> Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was... Wife! Seen. Wife! So She's no my wife! Answer. Why, yes. And by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. I don't know if you guys noticed, but at the parade, Cloud was giving a speech and he got really scared and started to shut down. And who was the first person to come out and help him? It's like the, the it's swapped now, you know, to now where Cloud is coming out and encouraging Aerith during her speech. <laughs> Jim is here a lot, Shuby. told you anything about his parents yet? No. Nope. They were watchers, both of them, but... They couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? Oh. I see. Damn. Only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. I'll do it. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him. It should be Aerith! Ah, you'll do nicely. Huh? Him? him? Really? At least pretend. Over Aerith? <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Damn, what the fuck? Do you love the side quest with Aerith? Oh, That's cute as fuck! Like, Such walls should be well within your power to climb. Time for father and dog, son. Alright. 
It's so weird how we saw this in Remake and now we're doing it. The new voice lines are f***ing crazy. The new voice lines are so cute. He does. He sounds like baby Simba. Hey, where'd you run off to? I don't like the look of this. What the hell is that? That is a key. It's huge. How have you been, Lilith? Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the key, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. This is a bone too. a key arrow. Its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Damn, he got blown up. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past.
Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed <sighs> the opposite of inviting. Is this thing moving? Hello? Oh. <laughs> okay, I got scared. I, <laughs> that scared the f*** out of me. <laughs> Jesus. That was spooky. The music is hella good, huh? This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Nanaki. What in the Dark Souls bullshit is this? Oh, damn. What the fuck? Whoa. It's definitely good. I'll be honest. Uh. Do not allow fear to take hold of your heart. You are your own master, Nanaki. You and no one else. Never forget that. Interesting. Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds.
Lost might be one of the best songs in the game. It is really good. This mother is hard. Is this the one that Johnny was saying was like a Dark Souls boss? What the f***?
What the fuck is this? Titan.
Shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> Getting time just scared the f out of me. The moment the timer started, I started my f pants. But we did it. We did it. First try, nonetheless. Immerse yourself, Aru. Lock in. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait, is that Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the key transformed his body into stone, and there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now! I gotta protect our home, like he did! Listen to me, Mama Ki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. That no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki. Before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth! And in my stead, seek the great truths of our world! Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try <laughs> again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto. Protector of our veil!
Good up until the dad started crying. Hearken unto me. My name is Guy Natak. Oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. <sighs> the warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. <sighs> Well, I'm sad now and very confused. <laughs> I can hold it in. I can hold it in. And then you see the dad. You see the dad's tears, Seto's tears, and it's over. <laughs> oh, this E dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's playing. Stay alert. Home of the, the music here is so good. Yeah, no, Siri, I was saying this is one of the best songs. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> <laughs> Good interaction. He's such a dad. Would have stayed longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. He's such a dad. The river of sticks. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears, in due time, reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. I really like this guy, man. Watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. Tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. <gasps> what the f? Hmm. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. What? No tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. 
Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. I can't. I can't even tell you what the f I'm thinking. Because, like, I don't know what this means. So we know that that's our bigs, right? That's our bigs that were ripped from our timeline. I don't f get it. I really, I'm so overwhelmed. Act like it was nothing. Shrug it off and say he's been through ten times that shit. Are we talking about the same cloud? Come on. The guy's desperate to prove himself. Not like he needs to. Everyone knows he's a bona fide badass. What Zach is like, what the f are you talking about? Get a load of this. Okay. Let's see. The destruction of Sector 7 was orchestrated by Shinra themselves. We can't let those murderers get away with it. People of Midgar fight back against our corporate oppressors by joining Avalanche. Seek us out at the lot off Petal Lane. Wow, that's bold. Yep. These guys are setting a trap for themselves. Shinra will just roll in and round them all up. Doubt public security will even bother going through the motions. Easier just to shoot and skip the paperwork. Then anyone who goes is... An idiot, I know. But idiots are what we need right now. Folks who'll risk it all. Wait, don't tell me you're going. The things I do for friends. Hmm. Wonder. Hey, Biggs. You said before I ought to try picking up some work as a merc. Yeah. Cause one's not enough. So who's the one? <laughs> Cloud. He didn't tell you? Must not have wanted the competition. When exactly did you meet Cloud? The day before we hit reactor one. So... The... How long ago was that again? <laughs> Weird. My internal clock's busted. Yeah, mine too. What's that about, anyway? <laughs> Good question. So there's two clouds, right? I mean, we knew this, but like... I don't know. I don't know. Because like, yeah, two clouds, two Aerith. So does that mean Aerith and Cloud like died in another timeline? Like maybe the Aerith here is the Aerith from the OG? Because this is Zack from Crisis Core. Aerith here is Aerith from the OG. Biggs was supposed to be dead and came here. So then that must mean Cloud died. At least one of them. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm stupid. Is there anything we can do to help? Let's all dance! What if this, this is like, what if I, never mind, that's stupid too. I was going to say, what if this is like all the people that died during the reactor drop, but 
or the plate falling, but maybe not. It's just, I think it's really weird that she's in her honeybee outfit. Like, this has to have some significance, no? Like, there's no reason why they would put her in the honeybee outfit. For no reason. Nobody, huh? Not a soul. Well, at least Shinra was a no-show too, right? Who's there? <laughs> hmm? Huh. New recruit? Uh, as if I'd ever joined Avalanche. I just came to see what kind of morons would fall for your dumbass propaganda, that's all. But I should have known. Nobody could be that stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm out, losers. <laughs> I told you I wasn't cut out for a leading role. Damn. And here I thought I might have been safe for a reason. Just when we started Some liking her again, purpose. too. <sighs> We've seen... Sorry for wasting your time. Biggs! It's up to us to find our own purpose. I mean, who says it's gotta be one way? Everyone's sitting back, acting like the world's doomed, but the future's not set in stone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. You know, what matters most of all when the going gets tough. I don't know, hopes, dreams, maybe? Something like that. So long as we've got those. And hold on tight and never let go. Like this? Like, like your life depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> the world's lucky to have you. It's a start. Hmm. Anyway, God, he's so run. handsome. I'll be sure to pay a visit to Cloud when I get the chance. He's so See handsome. Ya. Think about what I said. Guess I should probably head home too. Hmm. Home. Interesting. <gasps> Everything's dead. Everything's dead. What the f I'm back. Welcome home. Welcome home. Guess who I just saw? Biggs. Really? Uh Said he'd visit too. Oh yay! <laughs> Did he say anything about Daddy or Tifa? No. Oh, uh, sorry. Forgot to ask. Aww. <laughs> Zach, would you mind checking on Aerith for me? Sure. We're all headed for the same place. You'll see your daddy and Tifa again. Soon oh, f so they really are dead. Soon enough, Marlene. Soon enough. What? We 
we've arrived. <gasps> oh my god! What? Oh my god! I really always win, huh? I really only ever win. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We got Clarith and Zareth tonight. I'm f losing my mind. <laughs> yes, so Aerith is connected to her other body somehow. Yes. Aerith, come stand in here. Tell me what you feel. Do you feel anything? How does Aerith do it? How does she do it? I, P, G, I, R, L. You know she is that girl. <laughs> <laughs> 